We welcome you back on the Butler Basketball Preview Show. And as we continue, a lot of times fans get exposed to the grueling schedule in the Big East and what these student athletes are doing out on the court. But there's a whole other dimension, what happens in the classroom and the rigor of the academics at Butler University. Student athletes at Division I universities like Butler may have more responsibilities than the average student. But Sonia Hopkins, the school's Associate Director of Academic Support, says the standards are simple. We just expect for them to, to do their best. Um, you know, coaches would expect for them to, to perform their best on the playing fields, and we expect the exact same thing in the classroom. We're committed to our sports, we're committed to our university, we're committed to our academics, and I think that shows in the success that our programs have as well as our academic success. Senior Taylor Buford says Butler has prepared her for the next step in her postgraduate career. I'm really thinking about going to law school. Butler has an amazing academic reputation in their business school, which I'm in Lacey School of Business, has really pushed me in a really great direction that I think that I'll feel really prepared. Academic opportunity, not just basketball, was a major factor in senior Nate Fowler's decision to come to Butler. When I was looking at schools to come to, I wanted to see if they had an engineering program just because in high school I was really into science and technology in general and I knew I wanted to do something in that field. I visited a couple other schools where engineering is, was there and an option, but when I visited here I just remember they presented it as like, you can actually do this, guys have done this before and we'll work with you. Beyond juggling home games, classes and social obligations, there's the challenge of travel. The Bulldogs are frequent flyers, with road trips causing missed classes and little time to waste. Supportive professors and constant communication are essential. I try to work ahead and try to get the homework done before the trip. Just really communication is really, really big and they're really open. If you show the effort that you really want to be here and that you're not going to let a road trip um, hold you back, they're going to be 100% have your back. Butler being such a small school, um, you really get to know people. I mean, I'm really good friends with people in my classrooms. It's really big on the community. We all treat each other like family and, and we get along together like family and we support each other like family. I think that that's something that parents pick up on because they want their children to be supported. Um, they want their children to feel at home. They want this place to be their second home. When we return, Nick and I offer a final look ahead at the 2018-2019 men's basketball campaign.